With a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. And, and it's also Rencudia. Anyone remember Diagostini Multimedia? <laughs> In German. <laughs> I mean, could you pronounce that as a child? Diagostini. Genke Bukaidu. Now, welcome to Learning Land. I don't know if anyone even remembers this. <laughs> oh, this is the one! Learning land. What? what? Why is it going again? Bit worrying. Oh well, Learning Land is a series of magazines released in the late 90s, early 2000s, which is not meant to be on a constant loo. But... Is it gonna loop again? Is this the game? <laughs> Have we used it a pirate disc? <laughs> right, the let's play is over now. See you all later. No, uh, we're running. Nice to see you again. Have you heard the news? No. Fun Fair has come to Learning Land. Hey! <gasps> and coconut shies and loads of rides and stalls. Well, I hate coconuts. Billy so. and Sue said they would meet us there. Don't really want one. Come on. Let's go and find them. Okay, so I've prepared this in advance. My profile name is Toast, and I picked the ship to be my icon because the Learning Land game set on a ship all aboard was my most wanted as a child. And I never got it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you missed, Bib. This is pretty nighty stuff, guys. Hi. Let's have a listen to the voice, that. I don't know. I haven't seen him for ages. Neither have I. I'm over here. <laughs> How did they not see him? <laughs> There's a lot of cats in us. Love me. Can I have a bit? Now. All you need to know about Biff's personality, he loves eating. And, and he animals. Will... And that's it for the introduction, I guess. We can click on various things and they'll make sounds and noises. Or at least they're supposed to. <laughs> He's rubbish! <laughs> they just couldn't animate him knocking what? the coconuts what? down. So what are those miss. coconuts? I've never seen coconuts like that in my life. Well, that's a real fairground attraction. No, the but they look more like lemons. The road. They're not even yes. yellow! Look at the shape of them! Anywho, so yes, Learning Land, we can click on Tim the Mouse, Biff the Rhino, Millie and uh, Sue the Cat. Sue's game is the best, you will all remember it from your childhood if you're British and born in the 90s. We're going to save that one for last. Tim loves math, so let's get him out of the way first. Oh, we just <laughs> moved slightly to the <laughs> left. I love fun fairs, and I love counting too. So uh, what a nerd. Nicer, yeah, Tim really fun. loves Fancy learning. Fun. He's Go the swattiest of the swats. Let's do some counting together. And we can look out for numbers hidden around the fairground at the same time. Oh, okay, so we got to find hidden to go numbers. To. A bit of walk-through stuff here. If you want to go for the easy route, you've got to click blue. But we are hardcore at counting. I did GCSE maths at one point, you know. So I feel up for orange is the new blue. Let's see if you can count. Oh, wow. I can. I'm doing it. Click on it. I'm talking here. On your marks, get set, go! One, two, three, you four, have, five. You have to click on them, obviously. Oh, right, yeah. One. Hey, two, oh, we can find them. This three, clown has four, just brought four of five, them for us. It would be two, rough if you want there. I'm fl I am boss at now? this. Um, let's see if you can find... Nine people with red clothes. Oh, you, Whoa, you my do, turn. Um, you right. do that. Oh, I don't know. This might One. be more of a magenta. Two. I guess it counts. That that fish Three. likes to live in the coral. That's a shade Four. of red. Well, I'm not going to run the risk. That candy floss has mouth. <laughs> All right. 
smiling candy floss. Six. And uh, this guy Seven. is a qualified pilot. There's one more. There's two more. Oh, heck. Oh, you're, you're rubbish at this, Isaac. Give it's, the mouse to me. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's in the circus. Okay, one more. Oh, everyone at home spotted him already. How could you not spot that one? All right. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty Your bad of me. You rubbish. General rule of thumb with Learning Land CD ROMs. Uh, Tim's games are usually. <laughs> it's so hard to talk over this talking guy. It's so hard to talk over you. <laughs> um, I think they wanted yellow shirts. Uh, general, well, we'll get it wrong if not. You're looking for two people on the aeroplane ride. Oh, oh well, easy, easy peasy. One. Yeah, a general rule of thumb with Tim's games, they're usually the most boring. But... But maths is important at school, kids, so... I can do this. After all, Finding One. Dory just came out, so let's find the goldfish. <laughs> what? Oh, it's ticked. Look at that goldfish. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing here. I feel a zoom in oh, come on. Oh, those two are such good friends. I got my first goldfish from the fair, you know. I called him Toon Link because I was bad at naming fish as a child. And he died within two weeks of getting him. I forgot what I called mine, my first one. Did you get it from the fairground? No, I got it from an actual pet shop. Yeah, well, we, we bought this big, nice tank for it, and it died in a week. Well, I got my second goldfish from a fish shop. He was Taboo, named after the final boss of Brawl, and he was a legend. I got another one for my 10th birthday, and it died the next day. Tim wants us to count 15 balloons. This is one of Tim's most enjoyable math games, would you believe? Well, this was the early days when I didn't have to think up things. <laughs> but, um, my, this is... I hope people haven't left already. I swear, when we get to Sue's game, that is mental good fun. And if you had this game as a kid, you will remember it. <laughs> but I can I can forgive you for forgetting I, this one. We've started with the poorest one. I don't think I've ever seen a candy floss so excited to be eaten up. <laughs> He's loving life. How did they get... Oh, these teddy bears. They've just been given out like hotcakes. Yeah, right. That's um, a hog ugly clown. Ugh. He looks dead. <laughs> Oh. oh, I guessed it. Yeah, we're meant to be counting coconuts. Ten coconuts. Well, but they're all in a flaming row, just there, ready for you. I don't know, this girl likes her coconuts. Oh, yeah, she's got one. Oh, she's an idiot. Who likes coconuts? I mean, it's okay if you viewers at home can enjoy the stuff, but... It's not really my thing. No, you're just idiots. Mind you, when you were young enough to play Learning Lands, you were all right with Bouncy Bar. Nine. Yeah, I was, and I just went off Found them. More. Maybe the recipe changed. Good for you. There are lots more things we can catch. <laughs> that, that blonde girl sticking her tongue out at the candy floss, candy. trying to reach <laughs> it. <laughs> Is it a girl? The fairy's reel is too small. Can't quite make it. I don't know. Wow, this game doesn't you're end, does it? <laughs> Five people with candy floss. Ugh. We've been recording for nine minutes now, and we're still on the first game. We really shouldn't have started with this one. Everybody's Five. left by now. But well, there we go, we've done we Tim's game. No, we haven't. No! The that the clown is holding. What? But there, what's the point? Already clicked on these. Three. Four. Don't give up. Well, we weren't! Still going here. I specifically picked at the fun fair because it's the one everyone remembers from their childhood and actually enjoyed because of Sue's and Biff's games. Didn't realise it would have... This would be such a nightmare. This is the last one. I want you to count nine 
coconuts on the coconut shop. Oh my god! We have done, we have done that! Cuts to the end of it. How many times do they want us to do this? Do they just want us to have numbers ingrained in our brains until we're unable to think about anything else? I don't want, I hate the fun fair now. You can sod off. Nice work. Well, we did it. And we've got a piece of the Jiggle Jigsaw. I don't, I don't care now, I can shove it. Oh, come on. <laughs> One day our child will be playing this game and they'll like it just as much as we do. They'll get bored if they have to do that. Tim, we're not playing it again. Those ducks are hideous. Right, guys, <laughs> we've been looking around the fair and counting things. Yeah, because that's just what you love to do, Tim. Let's go for a more enjoyable one. We'll go for me. I remember later. this one. Oh, yes. This is it. I, I'm doing this, Look Mike. What I won at the fair. It's a coconut. Well, you rubbish at it. How did you win? <laughs> you were failing. But he first, missed the coconut, so they gave him a consolation like coconut. <laughs> to make him stop throwing balls everywhere. <laughs> and I'll explain what you have to I mean, do. this is a massive rhinoceros mauling balls at people. It was probably a danger. And of course, he's doing his best cosplay of Lucas from Mother 3. Image on screen of a nice photoshop by Ren. Anyway, I remember what happened when you reach a dead end here. So I'm gonna reach a dead end. We'll plant a seed. Then, every time you find another watering can, the seed will grow. <gasps> I don't know about you, but Biff's voice seems very high pitched to me. I feel he should sound a bit more like, oh yeah. I'm the Rhino. But he's a child. <laughs> Here you go. He's Lucas. Start now. Biff or Smash. I've already made this joke. Right, you're going to go then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. <laughs> well done. Now we can plant a seed in the pot. I can do it with this there watering can. Seeds in all shapes and sizes. The little pits you find inside apples and oranges are seeds. The top seed so will be given acorns. to Tornado. My coconut is a seed too. It's oh my! I don't! Coconuts. I just want to get on with it, mate! We've already solved the maze in our heads at this point. We just got to get past ah! all the yammering. You know, for those of you who are unaware still talking. of Learning Land, there are 52 of these games. They were, were given playing... away free. Well, they weren't. In, within magazines, they were given away free with the magazine. The magazine was what you bought. Oi, I'm playing this, mate. Well, you weren't doing anything. I was trying to inform people. Biff had finally shut up, but no, the magazines, no. they were... Shh, I'm trying to concentrate. The magazines were three ninety nine, and you'd get your free CD-ROM with them, and nobody ever read the magazines. They were only about seven pages long anyway. They were really small. You were clearly in it for the CD-ROMs, but it was genuinely the best way to learn. And shout out to Homestar Runnertron, because without him, we would not have been able to get this running I am emulating Windows 98 right now, and Amy's going to hit a dead end on purpose. <laughs> Biff can't oh, comprehend. No. That's a dead end. <laughs> we'll have to go back and try another path. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, where else can I go? I have to go there. <laughs> I have to. Nobody can tell that you're clicking on the up uh... arrow because it's not animated. But um, yes, without Homestar Runnertron helping me install VirtualBox, then we would not be able to run Learning Land on Windows 8 or 10. Thank you. He has a Patreon. You're interested. These are seeds, and so are beans and sweet corn. 
Well, sweet corn, best vegetable for a little boy or girl. It's true. Everyone likes sweet corn, apart from the people that don't. What? Wow, this. Look, inside the hard brown shell. Just trying to make this as educational as possible, but it's just a maze. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got to tell you about Biff's games, actually, viewers at home. There is a theme to everybody's game. Obviously, Tim does maths, Millie does English, and Sue does generally more entertaining life skills kind of things. But uh, Biff's is usually about nature and animals. But here we've just kind of got a maze and it's kind of about nature and plant life because it's got a small plant no, in a man. pot and watering cans. I played this when I was seven and I loved it. Did it all the time. Se of course you were seven because you're older than me. I was about four. Was it, was it seven? Maybe I was six, actually. Well, I if think you, I was six. If you were well, six, then I was three. <laughs> It's time we gave our plant a drink. Don't yeah, go on, then. Seeing as we've collected all these watering cans, it's about time we fed it some. As if a plant grows that fast. All plants need water. Now I'm feeling thirsty, too. Did you know that lots of tasty drinks come from plants? No. Yeah, because without cacti, we wouldn't be able to get cactus juice from the Polish shop, which is the nicest drink going. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Oh, we had some coconut milk. See, I've just figured out how many more movements we need to do to complete this maze. We're basically half done. Do you think we should super speed the rest of this? I think so. See you at the end. <laughs> Wicked! That's watering can number four. <laughs> Wicked! Can we just go to the shop and buy one? Oh great, that, that's a bit of a weird plant to be honest, it's got a really sharp leaf, two other leaves and a barely alive stalk. Someone ate it. This caterpillar took a bite. Oh. Because this game came out in the 2000s so it got bitten by the millennium bug. Hey. Uh, we're almost there. We just about did yeah. it. Right. We're 20 minutes in, we've finally beaten the second game. That's the last watering can. Mind you, usually on Learning Land it takes you this long well, to beat two games, but that's because they're usually chatting on the main menu for ages instead of the games taking so long. But there we go, we've got a sunflower as if it's Mario Sunshine. And we're gonna get a piece of the Jiggle Jigsaw. Halfway through the game, lads and lasses. Get in. I don't feel achieved. Oh, come on, the Jiggle Jigsaw's great, you know this. But you'll have to wait until part two or three to see that. Crazy you could try. In this episode of Learning Land 3 at the fun fair, we got the slower paced games out of the way. Part 2, we're gonna do the real stuff with Sue and Millie. See you then.